Hello, good afternoon folks, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for end of day's session, Tuesday the 26th of July 2016. Please be sure to visit tradesignal.com, signal to market updates from leading providers. You can download the app from the Google Play and the Apple App Store, and I myself certainly post on there as well, www.tradesignal.com. Okay, in terms of uh, markets, let's look at the summation. In terms of European markets, uh, overall across the broad positive, uh, the FTSE finishing up 13.9 point, 13.9, uh, 0.2% at uh, 6724. German DAX finishing at 10247, up 0.5. French CAC certainly lagging, okay, along with its European peers. So uh, the Nikkei certainly down overnight. Uh, again, that was a negative or bearish factor. We did have BP earnings certainly weaker as well. Again, that was a bearish factor. We had Freeport Macbrand in the afternoon, certainly bearish factor as well. In terms of the bullish uh, arguments, you had Gilead and Texas certainly higher, hence the reason why we've seen the Nasdaq pop. Uh, Nasdaq certainly pop as high up to 4680. Okay, so certainly impressive move on the Nasdaq. The Shanghai and Hang Seng Chinese market certainly finished uh, finished positive. That's one of the reasons why the FTSE is still afloat. Okay, the FTSE is also afloat due to Mr. Wheel, uh, his comments with regards to uh, argument for more additional QE. But then again, that was quashed with another Reuters article stating that they will, the overwhelming uh, uh, number of economists are expecting a rate cut rather than uh, any additional QE. Also, obviously, with the Japanese yen surging out overnight with regards to fiscal stimulus being less than almost one quarter of what was expected at 20 trillion yen, it only came in at 3.6 trillion yen. So again, the additional QE certainly has been uh, hyped up. Again, as always, markets certainly overhyped the QE and factored in too much QE and now it has to correct itself. Uh, DuPont, Eli Lilly, Verizon and uh, Unit Tech certainly uh, earnings coming out stronger. US consumer confidence, new home sales and Richmond Fed are coming out stronger. On the bearish side, you had Caterpillar, McDonald's certainly sales down, forecast down, Monte de Pache limit down as well. All of that was counted by the argument of some uh, sort of uh, part nationalization or capital, uh, uh, capital accumulation or increasing the capital base. Uh, so again, uh, certainly neutralised. Although NatWest and RBS negative rates comments over the, uh, the well over the last 24 hours, again potential uh, to be a letter sent to business customers with regards to negative rates. Uh, French unemployment numbers came out late in the session. Certainly came out on the weaker side, so that will certainly affect European equities. So certainly keep an eye on that. And uh, the Red Book Index and US PMI and uh, the uh, S&P K Shiller certainly came out on the weaker side. Okay. Other than that, I don't think I've left anything. Uh, yes, the overwhelming uh, bearish argument right now is all about the USDJPY. USDJPY certainly is getting crushed, therefore expect the stock market to be crushed as well. Uh, we certainly have been taking our cue from the USDJPY, and you can see the HNS formation is in play. HNS target has been hit on the downside, and you can see that we bounced off that 200 MA. And the USDJPY certainly is in a, a lot of pressure at present. Okay, folks. Uh, you had this uh, move in the USD JPY has led to a rally in the uh, US stocks, and now it's certainly coming to a close. So, given the lack of uh, or given the uh, stimulus hasn't met expectations, again, that's certainly causing a negative factor. Okay, now let's look at the actual technical picture first of all. German DAX, I did explain to you on the daily chart, and I have over the last few days as well, that we're into that Brexit gap. Okay, this is the post Brexit gap. Okay, so very important to understand that on the daily chart. Obviously, that's holding us resistance. 60 minute chart. Well, I did expect a HS formation that hasn't obviously materialized. Okay, so again, follow the market. Okay, not your uh, projected opinion. Okay, so again, uh, your hypothetical or projected, whatever you want to call it, opinion. So for now, we're adhering to this uh, key diagonal um, trend line. Okay, so whether or not this is going to be a rising contracting wedge pattern, you do have another phone fill gap as well that was at around 10 to 90. The one that we're obviously facing right now is at 10 to 60. So 10,260, 10,290, obviously horizontal resistance. You do have resistance above as well at 10,320. Then you have horizontal resistance above at 10,360. So for now, keep an eye on this zone. Okay, you have the unfilled gap as well below. So be, be mindful of that. The h &S formation obviously is out of the equation. For now, bearish engulfing candle and the German DAX is in control. We're consolidating within that and that double top formation, certainly all eyes in there. Okay, 10 minute chart, German DAX. Let's just bring this up. Let's try and make a better. Let's try and improve this here somewhere. Okay, so again, you can ha certainly argue here for a potential HNS reversal. Uh, again, looking for a lower high. Okay, so look for a lower high. 
the diagonal trend line certainly is holding there or horizontal one okay so again taking this trend line here mm, nothing really that we can basically collate okay other than the fact that you are looking for a lower high okay so looking for a lower high we can take previous resistance equals support that certainly is holding at 10 to 20 if we do flush then you have this obviously horizontal support below that's really the only zone that we can certainly keep an eye out for so again looking for a lower high and then looking for a flush on the German DAX. Okay, folks. Right, let's bring up the chart of the French CAC. Let's see exactly where the CAC is at present. Okay, French CAC on the daily chart. Let's look at that first and foremost. Again, topping tail, uh, gravestone doji. Call it what you want, basically. You, know, you can call it a hanging man. Uh, you can call it um, a doji, really, a long-legged doji, etc. Basically, it's an indecision. Okay, indecision, failure to move higher. Okay. And also, given the fact that the uh, the German DAX has closed its Brexit-related gap, but the French CAC hasn't. And obviously, given for given the fact that we had a rise in unemployment, we've also had the terrorist incident as well. I forgot to mention that we had a uh, terrorist incident in Germany and France today. Okay, so again, that uh, that idiot, uh, the um, these mentally retarded individuals, God knows where they get their understanding from. Okay, uh, Islam does not uh, condone uh, terrorism, nor does it encourage it. It certainly is against it. Islam forbids the killing of a plant. Even if you were to hurt a plant, you'd be in trouble, let alone human beings and also animals. I mean, there was, there's a uh, historically uh, an important story where uh, they were attempting to um, control a village and the commander, he wrote a letter to the animals. Can you believe this? this is historically, this is, this is documented. He wrote an, a letter to the animals and he's told the animals that we are going to enter the village. Can you please leave the village because you might be hurt? And they say in the narrations that the animals came out walking. Okay. The animals came out walking. Even they used to write letters to the actual river Euphrates. When the river Euphrates stopped flowing, they, there was a very famous sage who wrote a letter and he, and he threw it into the water on the river Euphrates. And he, and he, and he asked the, the river to get, start flowing again and it started to flow. So these individuals were very mindful of the environment. Um, now, only now, uh, we, we start to understand the concept of environment and um, global warming, etc., etc. Historically, they understood this, okay? They respected the environment, they respected people. People were the last thing. I mean, there was no such thing as even touching an individual. Uh, the human being is considered sacred, uh, the concept from Adam and Eve. And yet, now we have so much ignorance, so much... Um, what can we say? I mean, it's just blind, blind ignorance. The fact that they 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 are interpreting the fact that they can uh, behead this individual, a nobleman, uh, a wise man, a pious man in a church, eighty odd year old. Wow, what defence has he got? It's just sickening. It's you can't. It's beyond comprehension. These individuals, they they are mentally. I mean, if you look at all the psychological profiles of these individuals, they're all either cheating on their wives. They uh, they have criminal records, they have drug abuse. I mean, these people are not sane, okay? They're very, very uh, disturbed individuals that are doing this, and, and there's no there's no religion that can justify it, okay? And Islam certainly doesn't, because I'm Muslim and, and I've never been taught that, okay? So again, uh, church, uh, obviously, episode in, in France, again, terrorist-related incident, okay? Again, it's interpreted as being risk-off, given the fear and uncertainty, etc., given the... Uh, the ongoing concerns of security in France again is going to be a major issue. So the French CAC you can see on the 60 minute chart here looking for a HNS formation folks okay. So you're looking at the pivot high to pivot low and you've held that 61% fib. Obviously we have this key of resistance line which obviously is being adhered to okay and you have the unfilled gap below that needs to be closed. So again looking for a flush okay. Looking for a flush especially on the uh, French CAC okay looking for weakness here. Right, 10 minute chart, the French CAC, we had uh, some type of rising contracting wedge pattern, but obviously that's been negated now. On the smaller side of things, we have a mini HNS formation. So again, you're looking at your left shoulder here, okay, looking at your head, and then right shoulder looking to flush lower, okay, and obviously support down here. So certainly weaker from my perspective, French CAC certainly set up to move lower, okay. And now the CAC, French CAC is supported by the resistance on the uh, mid and small, okay. Again, if we do continue to move higher, then you have resistance support, but you're ready to gap fill resistance on the uh, the CAC mid and small, okay? Okay, the, also the CAC 60, you're into gap fill resistance and horizontal resistance, so the French CAC certainly is in a lot of trouble right now, okay? So looking to move lower.
the FTSE 100 again like I said it was um, the um, the bearish um, earnings from uh, BP was certainly overshadowed by Mr. Wheels comments of more stimulus and obviously last Friday's economic data certainly triggered the uh, stimulus argument and now again yesterday's data certainly sent the markets lower and we had this Reuters article potentially talking about no additional QE so again if it's just a rate court no QE same concept of as the BOJ the, the FTSE certainly has negated the whole Brexit gap on the back of expectations of QE and if we don't have QE we all know what's going to happen next yes you're going to get one hell of a flush okay so also given the fact that oil if I go back bring up the price of oil because FTSE is very dependent upon oil folks okay uh, if you look at the daily chart and this is a mess right now but the daily chart you can see the next real support zone is at 41 okay and then obviously you've got gap fill at 39 so it would be very upsetting given the fact that we've had this sell-off we don't go <laughs> go below and close that gap okay given the fact that uh, global growth again is certainly weak I think we had the OECD today down downgrading potential growth although we did have the um, the forecast raised to $43 given the fact that we're already around 42 49 it's not really 42 42.9 it's not really going to help we do need to flush lower to 41 to 39 given especially given the fact that the USD JPY is starting to move higher and US equities certainly look very very top heavy okay going back to the FTSE 100 now folks okay FTSE 100 the daily chart I've explained 60 minute chart I explained this during the day you have a HNS formation you have this uh, broadening top type pattern double top for the head looking for a lower high and then obviously looking to flush here okay so again looking for a HNS type for a formation looking to flush lower 10 minute chart of the FTSE 100 again you have the unfilled gap up for 6708 so we did actually hit a pivot lower 6708 towards gap fill and we bounced subsequently quite powerfully okay so again resistance is seen at this 6735 6740 but certainly is uh, holding for now and the FTSE certainly seems to be in trouble as well especially given the fact that the French CAC has a HNS formation and the NASDAQ is certainly weak at the moment so again looking weak let's go to the euro stocks now last but not least euro stocks where are thou there uh, we go okay so going over to the daily chart the euro stocks 50 folks okay again you have a topping tail horizontal resistance you can see this key zone here being respected topping tail here as well okay so again yesterday's topping tail today potential hanging man candle as well so again indicating weakness coming towards this key diagonal trend line as well uh, 60 minute chart you can clearly see that you have a HNS formation uh, uh, forming here as well so your left shoulder is here your head and now we've got this right shoulder and we're looking to flush low you have this unfilled gap that needs to close at 2930 and then obviously you got some support at 2910 so euro stocks certainly under pressure as well okay 10 minute chart of the uh, euro stocks again we held previous support equals resistance looking for weakness okay so again from my understanding and my interpretation you're looking to flush and look for US markets to uh, to send us lower okay or even lead us lower okay I think that's uh, that's too long now the uh, please do visit cfds.com and uh, certainly uh, take advantage of that potential 25% bonus those of you that do open an account uh, please do send me an email okay please do send me an email uh, if you visit my site I'll certainly get the bonus applied for you so the daily day you can visit my site at inter-market-analysis.com okay you can certainly join my live analysis service as well if you click on the tab at live analysis service also you have a two-week free trial trial so again if you don't want to join you're more than welcome to take the two-week free trial and uh, certainly gain an insight into my day-to-day -day, uh, trading activities trade setups analysis commentary uh, and much more okay folks take care and uh, goodbye now